two, one. From Zero. liftoff in Houston. late May. Liftoff of the Falcon 9. To the picture-perfect splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Welcome back to planet Earth. Astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken say at first glance their flight is proof that NASA's commercial program is mission ready. We're perfectly comfortable saying that uh, uh, Crew-1 is ready. Behnken describing their rapid descent back to Earth this past Sunday aboard the aptly named Crew Dragon. A dragon really, it came alive. It sounds like an animal coming through the atmosphere. Feeling a sudden jolt as pieces of their spacecraft detached and parachutes deployed to slow their re-entry. It's like getting uh, hit in the back of the chair with a baseball bat. Once in the water, a flotilla of onlookers suddenly surrounded the craft. But Hurley says with the scorch marks and the way the window was positioned, they had no idea. And as crews readied Dragon for a return to solid ground, the two men had a little fun making what Hurley dubbed prank calls. That probably was a... Pretty funny to hear that you have an astronauts calling whoever we can call. It turns out those calls actually served a practical purpose, testing out the sat phone capability for future missions. Among those, they called Hurley and Benkin's wives, who are also astronauts. This was a great chance to reassure them that we were in the water, we were okay. We were feeling good. It'll likely be weeks before NASA and SpaceX officially certify this mission a success. But the space agency is already planning future flights with SpaceX in the effort to return to the moon one day and maybe eventually Mars. Now we've got commercial crew to the International Space Station and eventually we're going to have a whole fleet of commercial space stations. Among those set to ride in the same Dragon space capsule, Behnken's wife, Megan MacArthur. It's definitely her turn to, to focus on getting her mission accomplished. The astronauts ultimately spent 64 days in orbit, and during their time on the space station, they shared the incredible perspective from more than 200 miles up. The pair hoping their historic flight inspired and provided a welcome distraction for all of us back on Earth. And we hope it brings a little bit of brightness to a pretty tough 2020. You're here to that. So, so Tom Binkin and Hurley, how, how are they adjusting to life back here on our little planet so they say they gotta it's gonna take a little while to adjust you know a lot of astronauts say it can take weeks before they feel like they're no longer on a moving ship these two guys they had a craving that they had to fill right away they both wanted pizza so that was their <laughs> first meal when they got back down to earth and the Bankin family says they plan to get a puppy now but did you notice through this mission they had a stowaway on board the spaceship uh, it was a pet dinosaur a stuffed dinosaur his name they say is tremor now the Bankins and the hurleys have two boys who are about the same age and so the boys helped pick this pet dinosaur it was a kind of a mascot if you will kind of giving them giving them an indicator of whether they were in gravity or no gravity so now that they're back down on earth and tremor has gone for this ride for two months they say they, they're going to share them right kind of like the stanley cup the bacon's <laughs> get them for a while and then you got the hurleys get them for a while Cute. and then when the boys are all grown up we'll see if it ends up in a museum or if they fight over who gets to keep it i know and the guys are best friends too uh, i mean do they still want to hang out or do they need some space <laughs> You know, I got to tell you, Get I think it? it's, as the fa I like that. That Thanks. was very cool. As the father of daughters, <laughs> I think it's super cool that their wives are also astronauts yeah, just yeah. as accomplished, and they're on their way up as well eventually. I love that phone call. Honey, I'm home. I know. It's That's awesome. pretty cool. All right, Tom. Costello, thank you, you can Tom. Act. Yeah, thank you. That was a mom joke. We need, it really was. It's yeah. super dorky. And you know like who isn't going to appreciate it? Al. Yeah. Somewhere Al was <laughs> smiling, right, yeah. Al? I I was I was very impressed. Thank very you. Very impressed. You showed great mom joke skill. I like that. <laughs> I channeled I mean, my inner two Roker. Couples that are all four, they're all four astronauts. Almost that's almost like a sitcom. I, I love that.